walk into the bank, gonna have a crank. Slip out at the town, bound right back at the train, straight now. Baby, can't you see my pancakes? Okay, so this is Banana Pancakes, Banana Republic Pancakes by Jack Johnson. Guys, standard tuning, no capo. There are power, not power chords. There are bar chords, but this is... Let's have a very serious talk about bar chords, guys. This is your opportunity, okay? Yes, is the song full of bar chords? It is. But it's a very nice song. It's nice and slow. It's very gentle. It's a kind, loving song. Probably Curious George likes it, is my guess. I mean, he he is a fictional character, but that doesn't mean that we we, we regularly attach uh, personality and, and personal preferences to fictional characters. So I think it's totally legit to say that Curious George like this, this song. Therefore, I recommend you take advantage of this opportunity to get good at some bar chords, guys. Think of it like you're working out your bar chord muscles, which are your finger muscles also. Starts off with the introduction. You're gonna play on the top string. Play the fifth fret, but immediately slide it up to seven. Then, and I use my ring finger for that, by the way. You're gonna play five, slide it up to seven. Then with your pointer finger, play five on the second string from the top. Then play seven on top again. Then play, oh, excuse me, then play five on the top string with your pointer finger and slide down to three. So that was. Ooh, that was ugly. Let's try that one more time. One. To play with me, uh. Then you're gonna play the top string open, and then you're gonna play five on the top string. Let's do that all together. One, two, three, four, uh. Does he slide up to the five? I have to check. Yeah, he does. He slides up to that last five. So we go. So I, I play the open string, then you play three on the top string, but immediately slide it up to five. I've made a mess of this. Let's play that whole beginning part together. One, two, three, four, uh. Okay, right? Now we got it all figured out. Let's do it one more time. One, Two, three, four, one. And then now it's time for our first bar chord, guys. Your pointer finger is on the fifth fret of the top string already. All you have to do is you just have to lay it flat and smash it down on all six strings of the guitar. Here's the great thing. We're gonna, so this is an A minor seven bar chord we're gonna play. Go ahead and take your middle finger, smash it down on top of your pointer finger. Now you have the power of two fingers smashing down on every single string. Get your finger right up next to the actual metal fret. See how I'm like covering up the metal fret? You can't even see it there. If you're like this, if you can see it, then you're not over far enough. Get right up next to it so the side of your finger just covers it up a little bit. Get your middle finger helping, then your ring finger is gonna play the seventh fret on the second string from the top. Make sure your thumb is behind the neck of the guitar. If your thumb is poking up over the top, it's gonna be very difficult. Let's see, can I do it? I cannot. If my thumb is over the top, I cannot do it. I need to bring my thumb down here. I squeeze together my fingers and my thumb. A minor seven bar chord. Sounds like that, guys. Now, let's go like this. We're gonna go. Bar chord. It gives you a little, you have a little bit of time. You slide and then get ready and strum it just one time. Let's do it together, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, hey! I gotta practice my sliding, guys. This is a disaster today. Then, you're gonna go like this. So you do everything the same. You do that whole little fill riff thing again. But then instead of sliding up to five, you're just gonna play zero and then three on the top string. And then yes, we have another bar chord. This one is actually a little bit more difficult. Your pointer finger smashes down on the third fret on all six strings. You don't get to have your middle finger help it because your middle finger has to play the fourth fret on the third string from the bottom. 
Then put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the top. This is a G7 bar chord, guys. We're gonna do one strum of this. Sounds like that. Here's the thing, top string, you guys are gonna be able to do that, no problem, it's gonna be great. You probably are getting a little better at having this part of your finger push on the bottom couple strings. So those notes might even sound okay. Second string from the top, the one your ring finger's on, that one's gonna be good. The one your middle finger's on right here, now that one's gonna be great, but this third one from the top, that's what it should sound like. It's kind of an ugly note. It's gonna be tough though. It's gonna, it's gonna be muted, you guys. It's gonna be muted. You're just gonna have to push as hard as you can. And then after a, a little while of playing it, you're finally gonna get that note and you're gonna go, there, I did it. I've mastered the G7 bar chord. And then the next time you play it, it's gonna be muted again. It's just the way it goes. Uh, the whole first part of the intro goes like this. A minor seven. Seven. Then you go like this. So here's what that was. Started off like with the same little slidey thing. On the top string, you slide from five to seven. You play five on the second string from the top, but then you reach up to seven with your ring finger on the second string. Go back to five, then back to seven on the top. And this, that was. Then you're gonna play open and then slide up to five again. Five to three to five. Okay, well, all already threw in the towel on this video, guys. Oh, I messed up too. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go like this. You do the... We did all that, then let's do this. Don't go back to the open string, just play three on the top and then slide up to five. Oh. Okay, so that was... You got it, you did it, you did great. Then you do the A minor seven bar chord again. And then you do this again. That was the exact same thing we did before the G7 bar chord the first time and we're just gonna strum the G7 bar chord again. I mean, that, was, that was not even an explanation. I don't know what that was. Here's the whole entire intro, play it with me. One, two, three, four, one. A minor seven. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh. Uh. Oh. And there's, there it is. That was the intro to Banana Pancakes, guys. Out there, there's a door with a little window, and I moved some things around out there, and I keeps looking like there's someone standing out there and it terrifies me every single time. But it's always just been this little like shelf that I put there. So anyway, um, I guess we gotta learn the verse to the song. Verse goes like this. Let me play it for you then we'll talk through it. It goes like this. You're thinking like, oh boy, that's a lot of bar chords. Yeah, it's true. First one is a G bar chord. Remember our G7 bar chord? Go back to that G7 bar chord, but this time add your pinky to the fifth fret of the third string from the top. So that means point our finger on the third fret of the top string and pushing down on every other string. Ring finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the top. Pinky, fifth fret, third string from the top. Middle finger, fourth fret on the third string from the bottom this is our G7 chord. No, no, it's our G bar chord, our G, our G major bar chord. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna strum a tiny little baby little strum on the top string. Then you're gonna strum a big boy strum on all the strings. So it goes. Then you're gonna, as you're switching to the next chord, you're just gonna do a tiny little strum up on the open string. So it's like that. Then we go to this D7 chord, guys. D7 chord, middle finger, fifth fret, second string from the top, pointer finger, fourth fret on the third string from the top, ring finger, fifth fret on the third string from the bottom. My thumb is coming up over the top, muting the top string. My ring finger and a little bit of help maybe for my pinky is gonna mute the bottom two strings. This 
is a D7 chord. There are many ways to play D7, but this is the way that you play it in Banana Pancakes by Jack Johnson. We're gonna do the same thing, our little baby strum, and then our big grown-up strum. And then you're gonna strum the open strings again as we get ready for our next chord, which happens to be the A minor seven bar chord. Remember that one? That was where you used your pointer and middle finger to bar everything on the fifth fret. Ring finger plays seventh fret on the second string from the top. You're gonna go. And then we go to a C7 chord, you guys. C7 chord is like this. It's a new, it's a new one. There's a new one for you. It's a new bar chord. You're gonna love it. Pointer finger, third fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, fifth fret, third string from the top. Pinky, fifth fret on the second string from the bottom. Now the bad news is your pointer finger has to smash down on the bottom five strings. The top string, we don't want to hear it. I actually have the tip of my finger just touching the top string to mute it, but then this finger is pushing on the rest of the strings. You may have your middle finger once again help your pointer finger push down on all the strings. This is a C7 chord. It should sound like this. So our chords for the verse are G, D7, A minor 7, and C7. And on each chord, we're going to go tiny, big, and then up. So it goes. Eating banana pancakes now. So. I uh, left out one little thing, is as we head into the verse, as we finish up the intro and start the verse, we have to do two strums of the D7 chord. That's like the coolest part of the song. So here's what I would like to do now with you. I would like to go, the D7 was this one, remember? We just, we just talked about it moments ago. You're gonna go, ba, ba, and then, the G sep, the G bar chord. I keep wanting to call it G7 chord, I'm sorry. Let's do that. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do this slowly. I'm gonna go one, two, then D7 verse. Are you ready to try it? You can just, if you can't play it yet, just pretend you're playing it with me. One, then two, three, four, here we go. And D7, G, D7, A minor seven, C7. We and a tune down, what could you be laying down? Hey, put it or do heading off to Tuesday. That's the verse. I think he probably does it four times, right? Four seems like a good number for a verse. And then we get to what I'm gonna call the chorus. It might be like a little interlude, but I call it the chorus. And then there's a different part that I call the bridge. So I don't know though. I don't know. You'll have to ask Mr. Johnson himself about it. Okay, I'm just taking a break. I'm just taking a little sunglasses break. I don't have any water here with me. I do have some coffee, however. Oh, I forgot, oh God, I'm okay. Well, I only made a tiny little mess, but the good news is I forgot that I added a bunch of extra water to my coffee, so I have this watered down coffee. Tastes terrible. Okay, um, the chorus. So that was okay. We learned the intro. We learned the verse. Time for the chorus. The chorus goes like this. I think I don't know. I need to listen to it. I was pretty close. The chorus part or whatever this is goes like this. It goes. You already know most of the parts of this. Here's what it is. On the A minor seven chord, remember the A minor seven? We've done it so many times today. Just look at it, you'll remember it. Remember it? You've got it. We go like this. We play like, it's gonna go like down, up, and then it's a little like chop. But, here, but actually, instead of strumming down, you're really just gonna play the top string, top one or two strings, it's fine, not a big deal. Play the top string, then strum up really lightly. Then you're just gonna do this little percussive karate chop of the strings. So it's like down, up, chop, and then you come up again. So it's down, up, chop, up. One, two, play with me. And down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, 
up down up chop 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 that was pretty annoying in the comments right how annoying you think that was no don't 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 do that that was a terrible idea how about this in the comments you are allowed to rate how annoying that down up chop over and over again was but you also have to say something nice about the down up chop thing so you can say like the down up chop thing was a six out of ten annoying but also i thought that your collar looked very straight while you were doing it all right can collars look straight is that a thing that collars do what happens if i button this that is tight Oh my goodness, do not approve of that at all. A minor or seven chord, we're gonna go down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down. So that was like two and a half times. We go down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down. Then you're gonna go like this. No, no. There, that was that like second part of the intro. Remember that? So that was a slide from five to seven. Then a ba 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 da, zero. Then third fret on the top string. Then we go back to the G7 chord, and we're gonna do our down up chop thing on that. So the G7 we did in the intro, but it's been a little while. So it's pointer finger bars everything on the third fret, ring finger fifth fret second string from the top, middle finger is on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. We're gonna go down up chop up down up chop up down. So again, like two and a half times. Then you do the other part of the intro where it goes. And then you do the whole thing again. Let me just play this whole chorus part for you. And you'll, you'll see what I mean. You know all the parts. You can play it with me if you want or not, whatever. One, two, three, four. Watch this. It was that D7 twice again, just like the intro. Okay, this, but this part is very similar to the intro. That's why I, I kind of rushed through it, but I also kind of took way too long on it. Anyway, you go back to the verse, your favorite part with all the bar chords. Eating banana pancakes, look at all my pancakes. Let's go have some pancakes. I like to eat pancakes now. So. Then we then we do the chorus part again. The... That whole thing again. And then we go to the bridge. I call this the bridge. This might actually be the chorus. I don't know. Like I like I was saying before, I don't know what they are. We're just gonna have to ask Mr. Johnson, Mr. Jack J. Johnson. Um, what do you think about it? So I'll ask him later. I'm gonna run into him later today, pretty sure, on the streets of um, the city. I'll probably run into him. So here's the bridge. A minor seven. You're just gonna go down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop. Then you go to the plain old regular G bar chord and you go down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down. It's like four times each, right? Then you go back to the A minor seven, four times. Then back to G. Such good bar chord practice. Then we're gonna go back to the A minor seven yet again. And then we're gonna go to a D bar chord. Yes, there is the regular D. You could do that, but that's not how Jack Johnson does it. We're gonna do it how he does it. The D bar chord is my least favorite. You do pointer finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the top. You're going to smash down on the bottom five strings with your pointer finger. You also want the tip of your pointer finger to just mute the top string. Then this is the worst part. Your ring finger plays seven on the third string from the top, but your ring finger also needs to smash down on the next two strings along with it. So it ends up being top string muted, then fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret, seventh fret. The bottom string, sometimes you can get that fifth fret with your pointer finger, but more often than not, the bottom string is just gonna be muted and that's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. So we're going, this is the D bar chord, guys. You can also do it up here. There's many different ways to play D. What I am showing you is the way that it is performed 
in the song. And that's the way it is. So we've got... See that? Then you do that same thing again, back to the A minor 7. Then back to D. It's annoying. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna, it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. Then we go to a B minor 7 bar chord. Guys, the way we do B minor 7, go back to the A minor 7, and then just scooch it over one fret, one more fret. So now pointer fingers on 7, ring fingers on 9, B minor 7 bar chord. That's one of the beautiful things about bar chords is once you know one shape really well, you just move that shape and you've got a whole nother chord. So we've got B minor 7, and then we're gonna go like this. So here's what that was. We did the B minor 7. Then we're gonna go to an E minor bar chord. That is pointer finger, 7th fret on the 2nd string from the top, ring finger, 9 on 3rd string from the top, pinky, 9, 3rd from the bottom, and middle finger, 8, 2nd string from the bottom. It is a bar chord. You would like your pointer finger to smash down on all five of the bottom strings and mute the top string. But the truth is, if the top string is open and even if the bottom string is open, it still sounds pretty good in this one position. Just saying, just saying. We're gonna go. So we're just gonna go down, up, down on this chord. Then take your pointer finger and you're gonna stretch it all the way back to the sixth fret on the second string from the top. At this point, you really just want the bottom string to be muted. So we've got top string muted, then six, and then nine, nine, eight. So you go like that. It's a little bit of an ugly chord, but it sounds good in context with the rest of the song. So we're going down, up, down, down, up, down. Then we go to a regular C bar chord, which is right here which is the same shape as our D bar chord we did just a moment ago, but moved over one, two frets. So that's pointer finger, third fret, second string from the top, ring finger, fifth fret, third string from the top. Your ring finger smashes down on three strings, C bar chord. You're gonna do the rhythm twice on this. So now here's what, here's what we just did. We went B minor seven. Then boom, ba ja ba ka ba ka boom ka ba ka jum ka bow. Then we're gonna go to our G bar chord, to the D7, back to the G. And then we go back to the verse of the song, singing banana pancakes, Jack Johnson and Ping Dong, Wacky Doobie, hey, yeah. All right, that bridge was long. Let's play the bridge all the way through. One, two, three, four. Then the G. Back to A minor seven. Then back to G. Then back to A minor seven. And then to D, A minor 7 again, D again, get ready for the B minor, here comes the B minor, and then we go to E minor, boom, doom ka ba ka do ba da the G, D7, yeah, that's it. Those are all the parts. They repeat all of it again or something. And then the song ends on a chord, probably on a G. I think it ends on a G. They go, that's why I like banana pancakes by Jack Johnson. Peace!